So when a new uh, person says, okay, I want to go the coding route, I want to build my own game, they've watched all the YouTube videos, like uh, they need to learn Unity, I guess, That's that's uh, or Un- Unreal Engine, you said? So there's, and I'm, I'm actually, so the free, like, process you can do just all on YouTube, um, I actually have made a course that the attempt is to do uh, all in one, you don't need to know anything about game development or anything about coding or programming. And by the end of the course, you'll know how to make multiplayer VR games and publish them. Mm. Um, and so it's a pretty ambitious course. Um, and I'm almost done with the first two modules. So the, the way I've broken it up is first you learn Unity uh, and then you learn how to do C sharp coding. And then for the next few modules, we talk about like VR interactions, how to you know, throw things and pick things up and move around and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then towards the end, we get into talking about multiplayer, how to publish your game to stores like Steam or Itch or um, App Lab or SideQuest or you know, all the different places you can do your game. And then the finally is like how to get a job. So uh, how to make money um, either doing crowdfunding or getting a publisher or just, you know, publishing your game yourself, that kind of stuff. I love um, that. So those are the kind of the the steps that I recommend yep. someone go through. And yeah. I've tried to put it all together in one course, which is fun. Of that you, yeah, that your goal is really to take someone basically, if somebody has the idea, like, I want to become a game developer, they can literally go into your course, do the whole thing. And they're like bridged uh, towards, yeah, um, being able to have a job and, and actually do it. Right. So mm-hmm. yeah. How, how long will your course be? Uh, and then not just to promote your course here, but as well to have an understanding of, uh, somebody with zero knowledge starts um, uh, and wants to build its own game. Like, how long will it take before they can actually build something? Uh, and 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 I'm uh, yeah, um, I know that uh, with with practice uh, you get better. So it's not like you do the course and hey, now you're a game developer. It's actually right, practicing exactly. <laughs> building it. There's the it, right? uh, monkey see monkey do effect where if you like you know have the course up on one screen and then you're building it on the other screen you're just kind of copy pasting and not really actually learning anything um Mm -hmm. so i've i've added in like a few challenges in there where i don't actually tell you how to do like the thing but i'm like Mm, okay from here you can take some of the stuff we've already learned and you do this thing that's a little more complicated um just to kind of get your brain going um, but if you're interested, of course, it's called VR Creator Academy. Um, and that's the website, just vrcreatoracademy.com. And it's eight modules, 20, maybe 30 hours long um, to finish. And then, you know, if you kind of paste that out, you can, you, depending on how much time you have, a couple months to finish it all. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, go off and make your own game. But I'm trying to really just break it down into the very basic you know, bare minimum stuff that you need to know um, without any fluff and whatnot, which is the big difference from the YouTube channel is, you know, the YouTube channel, if I want to teach you one thing, it's going to be like a um, 30 minute video where I do the setup and then I teach you how to tell you how to do it. And then we do it for this one particular thing. Whereas the course is a bunch of like five to 10 minute videos of like, yeah, here's one specific thing. I assume you already watched the previous videos. All right, let's move on to the next one. 